Hello and welcome again to the Engineer's House channel. In the previous video, we talked about the general idea of friction. Now we are to introduce this sliding friction. You've all experienced it in your lives. Here are some practical examples. Sliding friction, which is also known as kinetic friction, is a kind of force that resists the relative sliding motion between two surfaces in contact. As we explained previously, in order to move an object from rest, you need to overcome the static friction. You should keep increasing the applied force until it reaches a specific state called impending motion, or physically known as Fs max. Right after this point, that object starts moving. However, how can we compute the value of Fs? Well, here is an important but unnoticeable point. Generally, there is no specific formula for the magnitude of the static friction force. Nevertheless, we know the maximum amount of it, which is obtained by the mentioned relation mu s times n. According to the Newton's laws of motion, when the body is at rest, the static friction force will be equal to the parallel components of the applied forces. As we mentioned earlier, fk equals mu k times n. The coefficient mu k is related to the roughness and irregularities of the mating surface. So it means that if the roughness of a surface or the normal force exerted to a body is changed, the magnitude of the friction force will differ as the result. As shown here, when the pressure applied by a body on a surface increases, a larger force is required to overcome the static friction. But does the same thing go with mu s? The formula is basically the same, but mu s is always greater than mu k. The question is why? When a stationary object is in contact with the surface, their molecular irregularities interact with one another and form relatively strong bonding, which lead to large adhesion and resistance. But once the intermolecular bonds are broken, opposing forces are reduced. In case of smooth surfaces, these bonds become weaker. Therefore, there is less difference between the values of mu s and mu k. Unlike sliding friction, rolling friction is about rotational movements of rigid bodies, which will be discussed in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.